What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another <clears throat> to another episode of WWE's biggest issue. Now, last week's episode, I talked about how I talked about how how, how you know, how the road to how the road to NXT TakeOver War Games needed to play out. This week's episode what needs to happen on the road to Survivor Series? Now, now with the fallout from SummerSlam this past Saturday, there are so many questions that need to be answered. Like, who will be Roman Reigns' next? Who will be Ro who will be Roman Reigns' next challenger? What does the future hold for Becky Lynch post victory over Bianca Belair? And and the big question of Will we see Goldberg again? So many questions that, that that need to be answered, and they're all gonna be answered in today's video because we found out that we found out as of as of this past Friday night on SmackDown, we found out that well, Brock Lesnar will not be Roman Reigns' next challenger as there as we found out as of last week that it will be Finn Balor. Challenging Roman Reigns this Friday night on SmackDown for the Universal Title, um, and many people many people are saying that it was supposed to have happened at Extreme Rules, but Finn Balor decided, why wait? It's gonna happen this it's gonna happen this Friday, and on Talking Smack just the other day, Adam Pearce and Sonya Deville made it official. It's gonna be. It's going to be Roman Reigns versus Finn Balor for the Universal title. And now it's it, it begs it buys into the question of how will how could this match play out compared to how it how it would have played out at Extreme Rules. Well, if you well, as I said before, for with Brock Lesnar returning, this buys into another question of where's where who where does Paul Paul Heyman's allegiance lie? Does it lie within within the bloodline of Roman Reigns and the Usos, or does it lie with the Beast Brock Lesnar? Honestly, it's interesting because he said on SmackDown that that his allegiance lies with Roman Reigns. Do I believe it? No, because it's Paul Heyman. It's Paul Heyman. He's he's done this multiple times. He he'll say that his allegiance lies with 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 this person, and then he'll say, "Oh, I lied." That's Paul Heyman. That's Paul Heyman. But but um, yeah. Anyway um, anyway, it begs it by again. So with Heyman now, you know, saying that he's siding with Roman Reigns, it begs the question: Is Roman Reigns safe? Is he safe from the wrath of Brock Lesnar without Paul Heyman? It doesn't matter. Brock Lesnar will always be Brock Lesnar. That's just how how it is. So going back with Finn Balor, if Finn Balor wins, which I don't, which honestly, don't get me wrong, I'm a I, I'm I'm a fan of Finn Balor. I don't think it's gonna happen. But if he does win, this now means that Brock Lesnar will be next in line. For the Universal title. But there are so many other superstars on SmackDown. Who want Roman Reigns. Obviously there's Brock Lesnar. There's Finn Balor. There's Edge. There's Seth Rollins. There's uh, Big E. With the Money of the Bank briefcase. There's a long list of dudes. Who want that title. Even Otis. Even Chad, even Chad Gable had mentioned on SmackDown months ago. That... Otis has his eyes on Roman Reigns and the Universal title, given the fact that Otis, last year, in 2020, was Mr. Money in the Bank. That was until, well... Yeah, that didn't go so well, honestly. But, that being said... But, excuse me, that being said... There are so many questions that must be answered as to how long Roman Reigns will be will be Universal Champion, and many people and may, many people are saying that he could very may, that he could be the next Hulk Hogan, and 
I, I find that very unique. I find that in interesting because if he does become the next Hulk Hogan, this means he'll be Universal Champion for at least a few years. Which, honestly, I don't see that happening any any anytime soon. And the only reason why he's been champion for this long I mean <laughs> it's hard to believe it. It's hard to believe that people are saying that Roman Reigns could be the next Hulk Hogan because because Hogan had, you know, apparently, um, apparently Hogan was like the first like major star as world champion. The Rock was what was one. Stone Cold, John Cena, Shawn Michaels, Triple H. Now Roman Reigns. I mean, you can't you can't argue with it. At the same time, it's like it's like. How long is he really going to hold it? Honestly, I really don't think he, he, he's going to hold it for very much longer. Unless if Biggie were, were to cash in and the cash in failed. But that being said, um, as far as like as far as potential challengers from now going into Survivor Series with, with Extreme Rules coming up, with Crown Jewel coming up... Um, I would say again with Finn Balor challenging. I would say, I would say Biggie catches in catches in this Friday. He becomes Universal Champion. In a alternate universe, that could happen. In an in a alternate WWE world, that could very maybe will happen. But I don't see that happening in anytime soon. As much as I like Biggie, as much as a fan I am of Biggie. There's no way that that ring that that can happen because with Big E going at it alone without without the rest of New Day, I, he's 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 on his own. He's on his own, and it, it buys in, into the question of whether or not he can do it on his own and become Universal Champion. No, because of the fact that Roman Reigns. Is gonna have have the Usos in his corner, and they're gonna stop him. There, and they'll stop Big E from becoming Universal Champion, unless if Kofi and Xavier were to come in and take out take take out the Usos. If that were to happen, well, there you have it. But. This now buys that, but this now ties into into another question of what does the future hold for Becky Lynch? So last, so this past, so so Saturday night, not last night, but not this past Saturday night, but the previous Saturday, um, <clears throat> Becky Lynch returned and defeated and defeated Bianca Belair to become SmackDown Women's Champion. Even though it was supposed to have been, been Bianca and Sasha Banks and then Bianca and Carmella. Yeah. Given the fact that Bianca Belair this past Friday night won a fatal four way match to potentially be, to become the net to become the number one contender for the title, <clears throat> this match has to be a fatal four way or a fatal five way because with because with Becky Lynch as champion, Liv Morgan wanting 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 the title. Carmella and Zelina Vega stopping Liv Morgan from gaining from getting that shot, and with Bianca Belair being the being the number one contender, plus with Sasha Banks potentially returning, it could be it could be a six pack challenge. We might see that going into Extreme Rules, but knowing but Sasha Banks, we found out that it was actually that. Um, we found out that the extent of her condition, if you will, had nothing to do with with the pandemic. Pandemic, from what I've from what I've read. But um, but another name that can also be put in the hat is Paige. There's been rumors going around saying that Paige could return, and she act, and she sent out a tweet yesterday saying, "Quote." 
I'm not done yet. So, will we see Paige return? I mean, it's possible. It's very possible, but as far as, um, but as far as Paige coming back, it is possible that she will, that she could return, but, but, Apparently, uh, she had she had stated on her Twitch that um, that that she's been working hard to make a comeback to 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 WWE, but she wants but but she wants to keep her return a surprise, and that also she's been she claims that she's mentally ready to return, and she's and she could and she's gonna post be posting updates on her on her TikTok, which I don't know I, I don't know her TikTok. Um if I did, I probably would have followed her, but I don't use TikTok so. But yeah, but yeah, anyway, um um Honestly, I really don't don't see Paige coming back. If if she does come back, it's gonna completely backfire on her because of two things because of two reasons. Because of Two reasons. Number one, number one, she had she had she's had neck surgery just like Edge did, just like Daniel Bryan did, just like you know Sting did, you know just like Nikki Bella. But the only difference between those superstars is the fact that is the fact that Paige's surgeries, her her neck injury, was was ten times worse. That we had that, that that we had initially thought, and the reason being is because of the fact that is is because of the fact that she had she had overworked her her in ring capabilities, if you will, and that's what caused her to have to have neck surgery, and she would and she's been out of action ever since. So if Paige comes back. And she goes to SmackDown. That means that means there's a total of six women wanting the SmackDown Women's Title, including including herself, Sasha Banks, Liv Morgan, among others. I will say this. Um, I will say this. Page Page coming back. It would be nice, but there's no way it, it's gonna happen. So, so as far as now, as far as the WWE title goes. There's a long, long list of superstars who want those, who want the WWE title. Goldberg is, is one of them, but, but earlier today, just a little while ago, on, um, j actually just about 40 minutes ago, on, on WWE's, on W, on all WWE digital platforms, including YouTube, uh, big, um, no copyrights here. You guys know how this works. Um, Goldberg was interviewed was interviewed at his um, at his gym or or something like that, and he says and he gave the ex gave his you know he revealed his condition, and he says that he's gonna be having he's he's gonna be need, needing surgery on his knee. And as far as his son Gage goes, his neck is hurting and as, as well as his shoulders are hurting, and yeah, it was pretty bad. And, he, and Goldberg said he's no longer going after the WWE title. He's going for Lashley's soul, and he's going to rip it out of his chest. I don't blame. I don't blame Goldberg for 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 feeling that way. I honestly don't. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. But as far as now goes, Goldberg is pretty much done with. With with WWE for now, um, there were, there were rumors of what of what his contract looks like, and we found out not too long ago, actually, I think just what several months ago or something like that, that he's due for two matches per year. So because that, so when so when you talk last year, when so when you talk last year. 2020, he he worked, super he worked Super Showdown against Bray Wyatt, and then worked WrestleMania, and that was it. 
This year, he worked the Royal Rumble against Drew McIntyre, and he worked SummerSlam the last Saturday. So, next year, we'll probably see him, I would say, WrestleMania, and then maybe Survivor Series? I don't know. I don't know, but I know that in 2017, I think he did, what, four matches? 2017, if I remember correctly? If I remember right, I believe so. Because I know, because I know that Goldberg returned, um, um, in 2016, and then he, and then he did, and then he did, he did Royal Rumble. He did Fast Lane, where he defeated, um, where he defeated Kevin Owens to become to become Universal Champion, and then he did WrestleMania. And then after that, I think that was it. Those were the only ones that he did. I'm actually looking back on on the on e, on each of the raw cards, which I think that was the case. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, I believe those were, those were the only three. Yeah, yeah, those were those were the only three that he did. And in 2018, in 2018, let's see. I believe in 2018 Goldberg worked only only two. I just don't remember which ones he worked. Um. I think SummerSlam was one was was uh, was one. Hang on, guys. No, it was no no. I don't think he did. I I don't think he worked in 2018. Yeah, yeah. Literally, he did. He he didn't work 2018. 2018, he backed off. He backed off. Because because of the injuries that he sustained at WrestleMania in uh, 2017, yeah. So so yeah. So so 27 so 2017 he he worked three matches and it was pretty hectic. It was pretty insane. But I will say this. Um, I I I will say this. If I will say this, once Goldberg once Goldberg returned, we know that. Lashley is pretty much done at, at this point. So now, so, so, so now the big question is, what? So now the question is, what should happen going into Survivor Series, going into Extreme Rules? Extreme Rules, I would say, Reigns versus Lesnar, Lashley versus Keith Lee versus. Sheamus versus Drew McIntyre. I think Matt, I think Drew McIntyre needs to put be put back back in into the title picture because because of the fact that McIntyre has has not been in in in, in the title picture since earlier this year at Hell in a Cell. Actually, it was just not too long ago, actually. Yeah, yeah. Literally, it, it it wasn't that long ago. But yeah, I would say I would say put put McIntyre back. But there are so many there are so many other questions that must be answered. Like, what's the fate of of the Raw tag team tiles? Who who's gonna challenge? Honestly, I think I think. Honestly, as far as the Raw tag team tiles go, I think I think it's gonna be AJ Styles and Omos. I think they're gonna be given a rematch for. The titles, but if they do, it's gonna end the same way it did, did a SummerSlam. RK Bro retains the titles. The SmackDown tag titles, I um, sh uh, Street Profits are 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 potential candidates. Um, uh, the Mysterios could be could be a potential candidate. Could be could be potential candidates. But we found out that this past Friday, Dominic has been. Pretty stressed out as a lazy. He's been frustrated with with 
with his father, but you can't blame Dom, but all Ray's trying to do is just help him out. That's all that that's all it is. But but there are so many uh, other questions that that must be answered as far as like as far as going into extreme rules, I feel like that that should happen, but as far as survivor series goes, there's a lot that that that, that can still be answered, but one thing that we can that that we can that we can potentially guarantee is that is Bobby Lashley keeps the keeps the title until Survivor Series. Lesnar becomes Universal Champion, and we finally get the match we want: Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley, and 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 in front of the whole world. That that would be one match I would love to see at Survivor Series. But guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I know that that I'm pretty sure I answered most most of the questions, but that brings me to the question of the day: What? dream match do you want to see at survivor series let me know in the let me know in the comments below and that is going to do it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button if you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more episodes of wwe's biggest issue which gets posted every monday make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any new content that comes your way and be sure to follow me on twitter and Instagram, all the links will be down in the description below. And if you guys have fan mail that you want, send me and want me to open up on the channel. My address will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.